<laughs> Hello, everybody. Welcome to the Rhyme Boys podcast, and <laughs> I'm the Joker! <laughs> okay, if you guys haven't seen this dude named, like, Daniel Hedgestang, whatever his fucking name is, dude, look him up. He's so funny. We're I'm actually, I might add a cl- I'm actually gonna add a clip into the, um, like, into the editing of this fucking episode. Oh, my it's God. So Anyways. I'm the Joker! I'm the Joker! I'm the Joker! I'm the Joker! We're two episodes in and I'm already tired. (laughs) It's fucking 11 p.m. over here for me. Y'all better shut up. 11 p.m. is not that late. (laughs) Yeah, but you're not in college. Yeah, I'm not. I have better things to do with my time. Like, oh wow! Yeah, like the okay. Twitch streamer. Like, you know, Listen, like, we talked people, about our gonna, we, we talked about my a, plan. I'm doing it for a reason. I gotta get yeah, that golf. Very morally, and very morally ethical reasons. We're gonna, Look, absolutely. yeah, obviously, I gotta get that big. T- I mean, help people. Yeah, it, you know, <laughs> I, I mean, help them with their lives. You know, you're you're <laughs> exactly. you're doing that, and I'm I'm beating off to fat furry NSFW. I mean, could could Twitch stream? <laughs> <laughs> Dude, you're doing that and I'm being off to the uh, I cannot the dude I cannot wait for the day you accidentally leave your mic on when like you accidentally like leave like your twitch stream on as you're like oh my God. Off dude I'm not it's like that one guy I'm, not, camera, dude, one I'm guy. not pulling a dark side fill I'm never going to <laughs> gonna be so funny. I am never oh, going to was on out. <laughs> they've been on the whole time huh no I'm you know honestly so dude he's I don't like blame the, him He's like the boogeyman of people who like accidentally leave their mic and camera. He was having a good time. Dreaming. It's so funny, dude. It's so funny. Like that. He's the he's the sole reason I make sure that everything is correct before <laughs> I start streaming because I would never want that to happen to me. Oh because God. once Anyways, that happens, I... that's the only thing they know you for. <laughs> Absolutely. Anyways, so. Um, last episode we talked about Epic, but we never actually got onto Epic, so yeah. Oh, yeah. Mm-hmm. Oh, yeah. Ep- Look, Epic. How about we get that out of the way before okay. we forget again? All right, all right. This might, this could either last two seconds or two hours, but, um, you know, if you, if you don't know, which, uh, fucking, you know, we have a whopping 150 subscribers, you know, we're not big deals. So, like, <laughs> if oh, you heard it from us, the biggest deals. Deals. If, if, yeah. if you heard it from us, that's fucking wild. Um, you ever heard of, uh, mm-hmm. PewDiePie? He's got nothing on you. We're getting, uh, I wish. I wish. Mr. Beast? <laughs> but, uh, yeah. if Mr. you don't know... He's more like Mr. Yeast. Yeast? <laughs> wow, you know, that was that was a real humdinger. A real a real knee slapper. Yeah, you know? yeah we really got him with that one. It was fucking um, beautiful. It was beautiful. But if, if you don't know, okay, Epic is a... Uh, online only musical. It's a concept album right now, actually. Even though it sounds professional mm-hmm. as fuck. It's a concept album. Al- what? Yeah, it's yeah, just yeah, a, it's, it's a concept. concept. Like Which is so weird to me that this is a concept album. Yeah, How the fuck like, is this a concept album? It's so insane. It's this is what? just a proof of concept. He said so. He like on everything. It's like it's, it's this just the concept album for something that when he when he makes an official thing out of it. He'll do it again, but even better is like what he keeps saying. But How can wow. he get better than what he's made so far, though? It's but like, uh, it's, 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 it's he, masterful. Um, it's made by one. I can t- you know what? I'll tell you how how you can do better. What was the what's the name of the guy? You say I look like the, him. The, the man's name oh, yeah, is, is is Jorge okay, so Rivera Jorge. Barons. Yeah, Jorge. Uh, Andre yeah, showed me this looks one like him. and changed my life. Okay, so he recorded one of the songs. In the voice of uh, Carl Weezer. What, it, oh my fucking yeah, because god! Jorge does Just a, do that, does a but crazy the whole musical and Carl Weezer impression. That's how you do better. Okay. Let's cut the charade. You are no wife of mine. <laughs> We're so oh stupid. Oh my god. So oh. I. That's not a bad Carl Weezer impression. He, he's pretty good. At it. <laughs> yeah, he's fucking great. Jimmy's but uh, I. I was such a, a apparently this thing has been going around since like 2021 ish. Uh, he's been releasing it like around since then, or at least he's been making See, TikToks no about his production of it. I had no idea this fucking thing existed until right before I made my trip to the East Coast to to live there. Um, my coworkers at the time, my friend Colton and my other friend Ty, they were like. Have you heard of Epic the Musical? Like, it's the Odyssey, but it's a musical. And I'm like, well, that sounds incredible. Uh, wh- wh- how does it work? And they're like, well, it's in sagas right now. They, j- it was, 
the day after they released the underworld saga that i found out about it um so i was like oh shit well i guess i better catch up so like i, I it's like a 30 minute drive to my house uh from at, at the time it was like a 30 minute drive from my house to work so i just listened to like half of it on the way there yeah and i, I listened like, to it at work that's how i did it and i was like oh this is pretty good but you know it's it's nothing that incredible and then the underworld saga kicked in and then i was like <laughs> and i was like oh <laughs> all, do all you know, i hear are screams do you know <laughs> okay so how i got into it was andre wouldn't shut the fuck up about it yeah no that's and how i got into when it when the you thunder know, saga hey, came hey, out it, i immediately know, started what, listening what do to you it. know i'm two for two i'm two for two you know first it was epic and then it was transformers <laughs> yeah. one you know i'm i'm doing pretty good for myself mm-hmm. right now <laughs> absolutely and yeah, then I fucking, mean, yeah, so I was going on, like, a long car ride to go to, the, to like, like, to go out to the, um, to the Pacific area, you know, like, the Pacific coast, to go hang out with my family on 4th of July, and yeah. I straight, just, like, on the ride there, I was listening to the entire album, and, like, literally on the ride there, I was like, Andre, is there any more? He's like, no, the, um, the Thunderbringer saga was, like, the last one so far. I'm like... Are you fucking kidding me? Come on! Yeah, no, I I caught up to the Underworld Saga, and I'm like, apparently that was the end of Act 1, and I'm like, how? Uh, but I want to know what happens next. And then the Thunder yeah, Saga I mean, happens, and then, like, the ending of Thunderbringer happens, and I'm like, what do you mean I have to wait, like, four months to see what happens after this? Yep, <laughs> yep. and then the Wisdom you know, Saga just I came guess... out, like, a month ago, I think, didn't it? Initially. It came out, like, a couple weeks ago, yeah, like, uh, like a month oh, or so right. ago. Uh, I got and... lucky with the timing, because, you know, I, there are certain musicals that I really dig, because, you know, I, I was a theater kid in high school, yeah, yeah. but All I've become three of us less were. into musicals yeah. over time as a whole, you know? Yeah, I know, I feel that. So when you guys were were recommending it to me, I was like, ah, no, I don't know about this. I don't know about this. And then I listened to it, and I was like, okay, well, actually, this isn't too bad. I like the Hermes song the best. That's my opinion. Wouldn't you well, like a taste of my cock the... now? Wouldn't no. you? Like to... <laughs> oh yeah, tell 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 them about your rituals. Tell them tell them what you do in your free time. Oh yeah, yeah. So that's just whenever I work. Like... Okay, so <laughs> to anybody that doesn't know, I I work retail right now, and um, you know, it's boring as fuck, but. What I do in my spare time is I just I just think of gay versions of like songs I like, so I just like immediately just Yeah, see there you go. See I'm gonna pull out my inner therapist here, Matthew, because I'm totally qualified. What do you think that says about you, Matthew? What do you think that says about you? I don't hear Perhaps Maddie. Yearning for penis. Do you hear Maddie? No, I don't. Oh, uh, he's he's doing something. Uh he's gone No wait. See, he can't refute what I'm saying right now. So technically, I didn't I hear anything. Hear him at all. I mean, he's probably screaming at the top of his lungs in his recording, but like we can't hear him at all. <laughs> he, can't hear him, but he can't refute me. Yeah, there you go. Matt loves big cock in his ass. It's it's true, um, and we love that for him. You know, Pride Month is always in season when you're as gay as Matt. Okay, guys, sorry. My fucking audio. Okay, so my mic just DC'd for, like, no reason. Um, so I'm back now. Sorry. Uh, yeah, so to counter-argue you, Bryce. I don't know what um, you're talking about. You can't counter-argue. It is, it is just because I, I think because so I think yes. that gay jokes are funny, okay? And that's uh, the only thing that okay. keeps me going in life. Listen, yeah, all I'm saying. You can, you can love gay people and still make gay jokes. Because sometimes, is glass. sometimes yeah, they I mean, just be right. funny. Not God, not God, not God. <laughs> Anyways, but yeah. So, uh, yeah. This one's going to be fun to edit because my, literally, my fucking, um, my, uh, my recording, like, my mic got disconnected. And then now I have to, like, it, it paused, thank God, but now I have to, like. You have to, like, cut your things. audio and, like, move the rest of it. That's I'm, fucking annoying. Oh. Anyways. But, uh, but, uh, yeah, so. Okay, so what is your favorite sagas, guys? Like so far? See, I have a go- you know what? I have a goldfish brain. So if I'm not like fully committed to listening to something, then it's gonna go like one ear and out the other. I did enjoy it at the time, but I do need to re-listen because I listened to it at work. 
because I, I uh, had to stop myself from going insane because I also work in kind of retail. Oh, there we go. He's going. He's muting again. Uh oh. Uh oh. Uh -oh. So I gotta, I gotta listen to it again. You know. How do you know Matt's muting again? Uh, or uh, there was like a little red mark over his icon. Oh, yeah. I wonder what's going that on. Or... Qu quantifying a a single favorite arc uh, or saga of epic is is a mighty a mighty task. Um, because basically everyone every saga keeps getting like better and better, almost like I could say the Wisdom Saga is my favorite, just because of the fact that the last two songs in that saga are like the probably the two best songs in the entire fucking show so far i need to re-listen to the whole thing um love in paradise especially the last like minute and a half of love in paradise okay so before we continue this any further uh this is an editing thing um so um at the time of recording this my mic was not plugged in i guess the correct way or something i don't fucking know but what happened was i uh i accidentally disconnected my mic and there were issues going on with recording my end of the podcast and the episode or whatever all that bullshit so i had to take the recording as like a backup of like the entire um like the voice chat and use that um as like a means of like matching you know and um, I just use that as a backup uh, because there's quite a bit of uh, footage of this that is missing from my end. So if the audio sounds a little weird and sounds a little distorted in comparison to how it normally sounds, there you go. It only lasts for about maybe like five or six minutes. But um, yeah, no, then right after that, we're going to go back to regular audio. So yeah, I just want to make that clear real quick. <laughs> I literally was in my bed at 3 a.m. just like listening to that part on repeat, sobbing my okay. fucking eyes out. I was literally just like, Athena! because like yeah, one. one of my favorite parts in the show is the middle part of the Underworld saga where it plays, it re it brings back uh, Polities' song for a second because they're in the underworld and all that and then they hear the mom part and it like makes you cry because oh my god oh yeah he, he missed his mom's death and then like jorge's mom actually plays the mom character too in oh, the song yeah, really oh, i think i remember yeah. about that and then so i'm like oh my god this is the greatest shit ever and then in love in paradise in the Wait. last minute they bring back the polity song they're going at, like the second he goes like all I hear are screams. I'm like, oh my god, they're bringing back Underworld. Yeah. But then they go, this life is amazing. How much Wait. longer till you're like waiting? Wait. Yeah, dude. It's, I'm like, it, ah. it, it's so beautiful. It's so glorious, right. dude. Um, I'll be, I'll I be think... for real. I'll be for real, though. Let me be for real. Like, those two songs are probably like. Love and Paradise and God Games are probably the two best songs for me so far. Like, my favorites. Yeah, God you, Games is like almost yeah no like God Games is like probably it's on another like level. So good. But if you want to talk about me, overall saga, like I think the one I listen to songs from the most is probably the Thunder Saga. Like for me, all, it's because the, Underworld. That's fair, Which and it's saga? also Underworld Saga is only three songs long, so it's really easy to listen to a bunch of times. But no, but the thing is, is that they're all like. Banger all, after and, banger after yeah. banger. No, dude. they're all they're all three like yeah. masterpieces. But then like Thunder Saga for me, they're all bangers too. Cause you know Suffering's really good. Different Beast mm. is fucking epic. Scylla is really cool. And then fucking Mutiny and Thunderbringer are like boom, like bombshell. Oh, yeah. Which uh, which saga is um, the one with uh, Hermes? That's the Cersei that's the saga. Cersei. Yeah, I like the Cersei saga. That's my. My... Cersei Saga is amazing. Cersei Saga is also no, really like, good. Okay, honestly, like the musical doesn't get really good till the Underworld Saga, or maybe the Cersei. I don't I... remember. It's like either Cersei to Underworld. Okay, the Cersei Saga is when like I really started getting into it, but the Underworld is like what made me really fucking love it. Great. Like, yeah, I it's think... pretty great. But I think the thing be that makes if it, it all just, uh, Carl Weezer singing the, the whole thing. The thing that makes it work, the whole the whole thing works for me. The whole Shut thing the is fantastic. Up, the thing that makes it work for me is that, like, the first couple of songs aren't really all that interesting to me. 
But then, like, yeah. the, the concepts that it lays out get touched upon over and over again in, like, callbacks. Yeah, yeah. And the Iliad makes... and the Odyssey are and a it, big like... deal for a reason, so it's pretty right. cool that it's like they took that material and did something unique with it, you know? So it's interesting, like, every time they go back to shit from, like, the first couple of songs, it inadvertently makes, like, the first couple of songs, like, way better, because you're, not only are you thinking about just the general quality of the song being good, you're thinking about all the stuff that's gonna happen after, and you're like, oh, mm-hmm. fuck! Mm-hmm. Gonna... Absolutely, dude, no. I cannot wait till he gets back to Ithaca, dude. It's gonna be so fucking we still hype, got, dude. We got, we still got two whole saga, so- we got a whole saga in between us and him actually I know. getting back. I know, I know. Is release date I can't or wait. anything like that? No, we, we don't have a release date no. for the Vengeance Saga yet. But but for fuck's sake, dude, we're getting Get in the Water next saga, and I'm like, God... I know. Get I'm, in the water. I'm getting fuck... I'm getting in the water. Fuck. <laughs> right. Ruthlessness is my sea upon us. Oh my god, dude, that song yeah, is... I gotta, I, gotta, I gotta keep a closer eye on this, because, you know, I, I, I look forward to things. That's how I, I cope with my life. Right. I find just something. For, yeah, absolutely. And I obsess absolutely. Over I mean, we're all like just months and months. We really are just living in the filler arc until Sonic Three comes out in December. But dude, yeah, yeah that and uh, dude. <laughs> I mean, that's real. Like, sure. When when I went to Comic Con, that's if I waited like a whole year for that, only to get roasted by Charles Martin and have my life destroyed. Brother, <laughs> you know. that's the funniest fuck. Fucking yeah, because your, your, your Switch screen protector got busted. Yeah, no, the, the problem was, okay, so I saved up for an OLED, because I had been waiting for uh, Tears, or Tears of the Kingdom for a very long time. Breath of the Wild is my favorite game. So, I, uh, I you know, I saved up for an OLED, and you know, I was like, fuck it, I'm going to play it on the best hardware available. And then I, I, um, I bought the Switch, and then I forgot to put the screen protector on it, and, you know, I assumed that I had it on it, because I had it on my old Switch, you know, and I fell down the stairs like a klutz, and scratch the shit out of my screen so you know i got this switch signed by not only charles martinet but patricia somerset the voice actress for for zelda but um i walked up to charles martinet and one of the first things he said to me one of the first things he said to me was uh who'd you get your switch signed by uh wolverine and i (laughs) i wanted to die at that moment in time i was like listen man i'm doing my best Damn. I've never forgiven you that. meet your God idol and he just lover. roasts the fuck out of you. Yeah, he roasted the f- two seconds in. Damn, I didn't get to meet anybody really all that cool, uh, like celebrity wise, uh, when uh, when I went to Otakon earlier this year. Um, freaking, although, uh, hey Maddie, you you know Cin- Cin- Cinemassacre. What's... Yeah, Cinemassacre. Yeah. Yeah, uh, you, so you know how they have rental reviews and they have, like, there's the, James has, like, his friend that's, like, the big heavy, the big guy with the glasses. Yeah, and the, yeah, yeah uh, I got to meet him at Otakon. <laughs> oh, hell yeah. That's cool. That's <laughs> but, cool, like, dude. I'll be for real, he, he really didn't feel like, it really didn't seem like he was happy to be there. <laughs> oh, man. I, maybe it was just because maybe it was just because we it was like the middle of the day when I met him and it seemed like every time I somebody mean that takes coming, a lot out of you I'm sure but like it seemed from what I could tell it seemed like he was just really upset that every time somebody came up to his table it was just to talk about James well I mean like he doesn't he doesn't have the presence that James has man like he's not fucking James like I don't know what like I don't know what to tell you but <laughs> like when your it's friend like... is the angry video game nerd it's like what do you do though well, yeah, yeah, and, yeah, and it's like, I mean, when people see Cinema Massacre, they expect to see James, or even fucking Mike Medley. Right, he, he was, the like, guy they was... Are, like, they are the faces of Cinema Massacre, like, they are the most, like, popular ones. Like, yeah. you know, granted, you know, like, they have the two new guys that, like, help write and edit and do part rental reviews, but, like, people are mostly watching Cinema Massacre to watch The Nerd, like, that's just how it is. Right, and, like, and, I, like... I get it, it, it sucks, right. but, like, that's just how it is, man. Like it's not like I they're... I'm not as familiar with that entire universe as a whole. I've I've watched a little bit of angry video game nerd here and there. You should watch. Well, the more thing of is, it. is that like, it's not like James has like put them in like any videos, or not that I know. Well, of. the it's, only the only thing like he really, like... the only thing he really puts them in is the rental reviews where he just talks about movies with them. It's basically like what exactly. we're doing. 
Exactly. Mm-hmm. Yeah. So it's like, I get it. It's kind of you know, I, I can see how it's kind of frustrating, but also like you gotta know like where your place is and just be. I mean, fuck, dude. I would kill to be in places. that position. I'm gonna be honest with you, dude. Like, if I got to do, like, if I got to talk about movies with James Rolf, dude, fuck yeah. It's like one of my yeah. life goals. Is yeah, to he, James. he was he was just sitting at a table and like he was selling like physical copies of like the Angry Video Game Nerd Collection and whatnot and like uh, the video games and all that. And he just looked so fucking tired, dude. I like I felt I felt pretty. Oh yeah, bad. No, absolutely. <laughs> oh yeah, no, absolutely. No, like I'd be yeah, I'd be exhausted too having to fucking sit there and talk to people constantly over and over and over again like, "Hey, where's James? Where's James?" Uh, I he's not here, man. See, I, I was yeah, smart like, about it. Okay. I like, planned my shit out meticulously. E- like m- James lives in like California or something and like fucking right? Otakon sure was on the Jersey, East Coast. Does he? I thought he lived in like California yeah, he's a or something. Guy. Oh, he's so a he does guy. live on the- he lives on the East Coast, then. See, I didn't even know that. Yeah. I've I've He's inadvertently moved much closer to James. Oh, that's wilding. Um, right. But uh, one time they went to Oregon, kind of pissed me off because. Oh uh, yeah, because I, I could have been in bed when they went to that fucking to that fucking blockbuster, bro. I was like, I could have yeah. been there. That's I could have been there. That's one thing I miss about Oregon is is that Oregon has the last blockbuster. Oh yeah, um, that's right. Right. And I'm like, damn, yeah, I want to go, block, I wanna go there. It's cool. It's, it's a really Whenever cool I move back to Oregon, whenever this happens, we got to take a trip down to the a Blockbuster and, and Bend. A, a rent block. one movie. Right. Rent, well, I mean, not even rent I, anything, I, just like walk in. I heard like forever ago that they were planning on doing like a thing where they uh, they built a, like a hotel like either across the street or right next to the Blockbuster specifically for... Like, so that you could, like, rent the movie, go to the hotel, and then bring it back. So that way you don't have to worry about, like, dr- like so that way you don't have to worry about, like, buying the films. You can still, like, just rent them. I love how something that used to be in everyday life is now, like, a fucking gimmick. Yeah. I mean, that's how it is. So... Kind of the game is up, too, nowadays. But they're, they're doing, yeah, like, the, the retro thing now. Which I'm for. Which is... But I feel like they had their chance. They had their chance, and, like, I just have no interest. Like, literally, the only time I ever go to a GameStop is if, like, like, if I'm at a mall and I just want to waste time, sure, I'll go to a GameStop. But they're so barren and empty, dude. Like, there's nothing there. But, like, aside from, like, video game merchandise. Yeah, and, like, it's cool, but, like, they're, but, like, usually they're so fucking expensive, and I just don't want to waste money on it. I'm like, yeah, I'll pass, man. Like that, now they got you just the, gotta that find that the right really cool dragon, The really cool Dragon Ball statues they have, cool. I want it. All cool. Here's the 75th Funko Pop I've seen of this one character. Hooray! Like it's, it's always yeah, like a wall. Me, it's just... always like a wall of like the most obscure character you've ever seen in fiction. Yeah. There's just like a hundred of them on the wall I know, of Funko right? Pops. I, mean, I, mean, I say that as just... I mean I have more than my fair share of the um, Funkos that I. I, I get that. No, I have a bunch of Funkos too, but like, I'm not going to GameStop just to get a fucking Funko Pop. I'm like gonna go work. to, <laughs> I'm gonna go to, fucking uh, what's it called? Damn it. Walmart. Um, no, the one place where it has like the um, where like all the goth um, like all of the uh, Hot goth topic? mommies work. Well, yeah. Like Spencer. Hot topic. Yeah, there we go. Yeah, <laughs> so I yeah. think about like Spencer's Hot Topic. Yeah. See, yeah, like, here's I what I need to do. I, I need to get yeah, my degree. Hot Topic for that shit. I need to get my degree and walk into a hot topic, and then I'll just be like a, you know, a chicken. Hey, there you go. You just gotta leave like little, like your little business cards for them. <laughs> Bryce really That's be your like, way of giving them your phone number. Bryce like really be game. like waiting in his office. He sees he sees a blue. <laughs> I'm sitting there he like comes into the fucking office twirling my my he fingers. Just, he just uh he just goes into the other room and dives into his money bin because he just. <laughs> <laughs> I like this plan, man. Okay, next time I go to Oregon, we're going to go into a hot topic and just make it work. Okay, you're going to help me out. Absolutely. Good. Damn. Uh, yeah, no. I mean, now they got the fuck. I, I have a strong moral opposition to to the fact that GameStop is trying to do the retro bullshit. Like, 
I mean, there's so many better options. I mean, like, not, I mean, not they had here. their there's chance, really... bro. They had their fucking chance, and, like, and it's like now of all times to do it. Like, come on. There are yeah, you could have done that before. A little too late. There are a do. billion different fucking uh, like retro game stores you can go. I mean, and support. No, I mean, it sucks because there's none of that here. So I'm sure I could go mm-hmm. to like the GameStop that's like 20 minutes away, and they'll probably have a couple things mm-hmm. here and there. But I don't know. You but guys have a lot then, of cool options. Like, but even then, it's like, why would I want to trade anything into you guys if you guys have been fucking gamers over for, like, years? Yeah, I made years? that mistake. Right. Why would yeah, I, I want to do that with retro that, games? Yeah, exactly. Like, why would you want to trade in retro games at all? Like, that doesn't make... Th- like, okay, like... Where okay, are they even just, going to get for me, retro as like games? A, like, for me, as a video game collector, I cannot trade games anymore. Like, physically, it hurts me every time yeah. I, like, go try to trade in a game now. Because it's like, man, okay, keep in mind, right? I went to a thrift shop, and I got this game called Bullet Witch, okay? I had no idea how much it was really worth until I went to this retro game trader over um, down, like, over, I think it's, like, Western Oregon somewhere. And, dude, straight up, that game, I spent two bucks on it at a thrift store. The game gave me $70 of in-store credit. I got Majora's Mask for free. Yeah, like oh, no really shit. Much. Yeah, it was insane. So I'm like, man, maybe I should just start going to thrift stores, buying like Keep random games, shit. and then just fucking get building my empire of games with that shit, dude. Yeah, just man. trading them in. Like it's fucking crazy, dude. It's incredible, is I just what got it too is. Too much shit in general. Nah, man. Too there's many no- comics, there's man. never. There's never enough comics or games, Bryce. There's never enough. enough it's never comics. enough. There's never enough. Uh, there's so many things that I want to get, but it's like, like the fucking the new Batman. I don't know if you guys seen anything about the new Batman where he's a fucking axe in his chest for some reason, and yeah, he's just and super the bat yoked. Yeah, looks fucking awful. Yeah, no, it looks fucking incredible. No, Are you the kidding bat, me? No, not not the art. Like the bat symbol itself is just a. Oh yeah, that yeah. Okay, that. <laughs> We're good. I I will concede, but granted, really... that is an axe, so you know. I am really pissed off at this new Arkham game that's only going to be VR. Like, genuinely pissed off about it. Yeah, a lot, Cause it's a lot like, of people are. Dude, I, I, don't, I don't want to have to play this new Arkham game and, like, spend, like, a, spend like $400 on a fucking Oculus Quest. Yeah, it's like, just to that's play the thing. It. I was and talking to, like, um... You know that's why they did it, though. Yeah. I know, absolutely, absolutely. And it's like, man, the battery life on those motherfuckers are, like, three hours long. I do not want to have I don't to know. I mean, I was like, talking to put it down to Jacob after like a good it. session and having to keep I, I don't know, it's just annoying to me, man. But yeah. He's been trying to get me, get me to get one. And if I had my own space, there's a lot of like cheaper alternatives now cuz I don't know. Oh, absolutely. I, I um absolutely. I borrowed my friend's one for like a weekend. And mm-hmm. I played uh, Resident Evil 4 in VR and it was like the coolest shit I've ever done in my entire life. Well, that's cool. Oh, it's so that's fun. Rad. Uh, VR is just not for me, I look, guess. I don't know. Like, can... Every time I play VR, it's fun for like 30 minutes, and then I, I just kind of get bored. Sure. Right. Well, let's just hope it's better than Kill the Justice League. Oh, God. Oh, fucking uh, God, dude. I was like actually excited for that game. I was actually kind of excited yeah, for so it, and then I. it turned into a live service schlock. And I just yeah, like, same thing with no Gotham interest. Knights. I was so pumped about Gotham Knights. Dude, no. I, loved I those was characters. stoked for that, too. And I was they, so stoked they for that too. Throw, threw in the fucking Court of Owls, and I love Nightwing. I was like, hell yeah, this is gonna be awesome. And then it fucking it's just terrible. But dude, it's like how yeah. you get like how you gonna have the Court of Owls without fucking Batman, dude? It's like a big part of it. Dude. Like, what the you fuck, know, man? I've heard people say that. I love the Court of Owls. I think they're fantastic. That I that like the run Court of Owls. where they I first show up. I think it's a cool ass fucking concept. I love the Court of Owls. Yeah. I think it's fucking cool. I just think the execution of it just fucking sucked. I mean, they, they just gotta they're find. Gonna... I guess. I mean, they're gonna put there the is Court some of good Owls news. in the new Batman out in the new Batman movie, right? They're putting the Court of Owls in that too. They're really? teasing it, and if that happens, I'll be interested I'm, in it. I'll be interested. I'm gonna I'm come. Genuinely interested yeah, in that and the, you know their their realistic interpretation of Clayface. Yeah. Okay. Oh God, dude. Well, that's no, not. I'm, no, I'm not. Official. No, I'm not on board with that. I fucking no, Andre. Will you Wait, but, about but hold on. Dude, I fucking no. I no. I think no. I, but, I hold on a minute. What? The what? original Clayface didn't have any powers, brother. Yeah, but like, 
like the but the way they but here's, now, here's the thing just, though we're gonna flesh. get the dcu which this time is going to be peak i promise it's not, <laughs> not just me coping okay not the clay face i know baby not the clay face i know bro i remember fighting Hashtag that motherfucker not my clay City, face. dude that shit was i fucking loved that our clay face in arkham Look, city bro i'm That's sure i'm face. sure that i'm sure that batman brave and the bold that one that james gunn is working on is going to be a completely different Look, you know what i'm pretty excited oh, yeah. for that whole universe <laughs> Because we're getting James a Swan Gunn Thing movie. is the only one I genuinely trust with comic book movies, dude. I cannot wait for this new Superman movie. I can't no, listen, I did the Superman looks great. Dude, the fucking oh, we got Mr. <laughs> Terrific Brother. I fucking love Mr. Terrific. We got Hawk looks- Girl. Have you seen Hawk Girl? Mm-hmm. Yeah. Mm-hmm. She looks oh, yeah. peak. Man, if I was a hawk oh, that yeah. was into other hawks, man. <laughs> if I was a- <laughs> you know, I can't do no. Dude, was- the thing is is that like, okay, after watching, like, the Guardians movies, right, all of them, and then sitting down, at, uh, Guardians 3 was peak fiction, honestly. Like, genuinely yeah, great. F- a fucking fantastic movie. I like all those movies. I cannot wait for this Superman movie. I cannot I mean, wait. Because you like, can tell James Gunn genuinely loves gives a making shit. these fucking movies. He actually yeah, gives man. a fuck. That's the thing about so um, awesome. the Superman thing. In an interview, um, excuse me, sorry. They were asking him about his interpretation of Superman. He was like, yeah, my dad is like a diehard fan of Superman. And mm-hmm. I'm a very big proponent of the, like, of, um, oh, fuck, what he say? As, uh, Superman is like the big blue boy scout, right? He was like, I love exactly, Superman dude. when he's that. That's how it Which works. Be. Dude, the Christopher and then he went Superman and, uh, he was like, yeah, this one's going to be time. based off of, um, uh, mm-hmm. Superman for all seasons, which is like one of the best Superman comics, my personal favorite. So it's like you know, mm-hmm. I, I got I got Dude, some it's, hope. It's gonna be peak. I know people are no, shooting like, on the costume or whatever, and I'm like, I just don't care. It looks They're great. Getting... Dude, yeah, like Andre, like like you said, the Christopher Reeve Superman movie is literally, I think, the best comic book movie I've ever seen. In my it life. might, oh, it's yeah, so it's fucking it, good. It might, it it's might so genuine, good. it might genuinely be the best comic book adaptation to ever exist. And it came out like, um, almost like what, a 50 years ago. <laughs> yeah, man. <laughs> and, and think I'm about really holding out hope. That, I'm thinking about that movie is the fact that when I watched it, there was not a single moment where I wasn't smiling. Like genuinely. Yeah, like, it was I one of the first. Felt a movie give me so much joy in my life. Oh, yeah. Like, that was... and uh, Batman Begins were, like, the first, the movies that got me into comics, you know? You know what's interesting? I rewatched Batman Begins. It's a lot it's better than I remembered it being. That, like, that's I, what I'm saying, dude. That's my personal I favorite. I not really like it, but after rewatching it, I'm like, yeah, no, this movie's actually, like, pretty fucking good. Like, I really it's do It's fantastic. Like it. it's I guess Granted, to, I'm a huge uh, Scarecrow simp, so that might I guess I'll have to rewatch it or something, but... Because the, 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 the last time I saw Batman Begins was probably back in, like, 2018 or something like that. And uh, I, did, I didn't I didn't care for it too much. I thought it was kind of boring, but maybe maybe I'll well, give it another uh, shot. This has been a nice talk. I, uh, you know, I think it's time for me to, time for me <laughs> to log off and uh, never I, speak okay, to you again. What? Okay, listen. Uh, you, I, I know you're going to say that very... the Dark Knight is o- – I know you're going to say the Dark Knight's overrated. Okay. Andre, come on! Don't fucking spoil it. Okay, look. The dark, whoa, look, whoa, 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 whoa! Dark Knight what? Rises. I okay. I like Dark Knight Rises. Okay, Dark Knight Rises. Dark Knight. Dark Knight Rises what? is just a much more fun to watch for me. No, genuinely, like I think that Bane is what? more fun to watch than Joker. Genuinely, that is oh my god. Crime. No, I, I'm not, I, dude. I, I'm sorry. I, I, I genuinely, I thought the Dark Knight Rises movie was more fun to watch. I thought it was way fucking funnier. I respect your opinion. Me, it was, dude. No, the I, fight I between no, Batman. I disagree. The fight between Batman and uh and Bane and like you know and, and, and like that factory cave or whatever the fuck, dude. Oh yeah, you're right. Bane yeah. was beating the fuck out of him, dude. He pull, Literally he pulls the, the best scene. Cracks the bag. best scene in all of the fucking Dark Knight movies. Genuinely, the best mm-hmm. scene. It's so I mean, good. It's pretty dude. fucking it's good. good. It's just like you it's just like the Joker isn't the. The, the the Joker just isn't the type of villain you'd have like a, a big fight scene with, you no, know? No, no, no. Yeah. I uh, Andre, I agree. But the thing is, is that look, Dark Knight movie, right? The Dark Knight movie, good. Don't get me wrong. Okay, I I'm not saying it's a bad movie. I fucking love it. It's a good movie. But for me, Bane is just way fucking cooler to me. 
Like, I think yeah. he's just, like, to me, I think he's a better villain, in my opinion. But, again, Joker, the motherfucker had, like, maybe 30 minutes of screen time in that movie. I wanted I mean, to see okay, more I like Joker him in, that, in that, movie. that movie, but I think mm-hmm. I'm just a little Jokered out in general, you know? But also, to yeah. me, though, um, Jack Nicholson's still best Joker. Like, I'm sorry. Jack, I well, no, Joker. that's not even Heath close. Ledger's okay. good, but... But, what but are you talking about? Barry Barry so Keegan? He shows up at the end of the Batman best performance? Brother, he showed up for literally two <laughs> seconds. <laughs> best performance? And he, and what can I say, man? He the looks performance like he, speaks for itself. He looks like he stuffed his cheeks with grenades right after they exploded. Bro, fucking, what the hell are you on about? <laughs> okay. Like herpes. okay, look. I, Motherfucker looks like a chipmunk. But you, you never know. You saw, I mean, Dude. you probably saw the deleted scene where he's, where, yeah, oh, yeah, like, yeah, yeah. The jo- where, like, the Joker talks to Batman, and he looks like absolute dog shit. Yeah, yeah, oh, yeah, God, listen, you know. listen, here's my he counterpoint. He's like a fucking crackhead, dude. That's, like, another reason why I don't like that movie, bro. It's just the way they're, like, do, they taking the, it's so weird to me. It's like a fucking That's meth head. You're objective. You know what I have to say I, I about that? Sorry, boring. dude. I'm sorry. It's so fucking boring to me. It's a peak. You know what I have to say to that? You know what? Mm. Uh, did you know uh, that we uh, we live in a society? Uh, checkmate, brother. Uh, You're wrong. Know, um, in the ju- in like the Snyder cut of the Justice League movie, Joker <sighs> uh, like unironically says that. Yeah, oh my god. Jared and then everyone like, fucking was side, like, "Oh my god, this is the best bro. Joker performance." Like, what no, are you talking oh about? Oh my god, dude. No, Jared Leto's Joker is so funny to watch. Like, Fuck it's Jared so Leto, goofy. Dude. It's so fucking stupid. I, it, okay. Fuck Jared I, Leto, un- dude. Okay. Ironically, <sighs> I think it's so fun to watch. Like, genuinely. Like, it's fun to watch, but yes, he is an awful Joker. Just horrible. Is a blah, fucking blah, atrocious, blah, blah, but it's. Blah, 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 I am glad. Blah, 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 I'm a per. I'm, I'm one of those people that was glad that uh, Zack Snyder is not. Uh, not at the home anymore, thank God. Look, no, okay, yeah, no, like yeah. I agree with you, but the thing about it is that the Snyder cut of the Justice League movie is like infinitely better. Just, I mean, it's not bad. I mean, it's better. a good film. But, okay, it's better. Look, it's too okay. In my opinion, too long. Obviously, okay. I think everyone can agree. It, it, it's, it's like, like four hours long. long isn't it should it? have been like a I mean, mini series. It should have been like a mini series, like a you know, like each like a, each they episode is like an hour of the part. film. And I think it would yeah. be a lot better that way, but I don't know um, why the the four by three aspect ratio thing also didn't like. I didn't fuck with that. Too yeah, much I mean, personally. I enjoyed the movie. I wasn't against it. I thought it was a cool artistic choice, but then again, you know, I'm weird like that. Um, I mean, before um, I mean, Ezra Miller maybe, went and uh, started being a weirdo, maybe I was creaming over that one scene about uh, where he like goes out the like, window and like the concrete is <laughs> melting around. Imagine, like that shit's. Imagine, like, uh, Cause imagine that's like the one thing. Okay, Miller I got beef with Zack on... Snyder. Could you imagine Ezra I got Miller beef. playing on Joker makeup next time we see him? Just yeah, that's that how it's gonna be. Freak. He'll just like, play the reverse Flash, dude. Yeah, I got beef with uh, Zack Snyder. Not a huge fan of uh, yeah, fucking his stuff. Well, I agree. Maybe no, the, like maybe... Batman v Superman was fucking dog shit. It's so boring. No, yeah. it was terrible. And uh, I just so okay, I'm not gonna go I'm on really a four hour rant care. about this because I very well could, but um. His version of Barry Allen, it's not, it's not good, man. It's not good, cause he's oh, yeah, so, awesome. he's like, I fucking, I hate, I hate the shit where he's like, I've, I've never been in, a, what, I've never been in a fight anymore. I, I don't know what I'm doing. It's like, what the fuck, dude? You run so much faster than anyone around you, bro. You don't need to okay. know how to I will fight. Say, though, <laughs> the best scene in that entire movie was when Flash was like, you know, like. You know, like when, like when they were doing like the whole raid boss against Superman, and they fucking Flash is running around, and Superman just looks at him, and he's just like shit. Like, what the fuck are you gonna do? It was yeah. so fucking funny. <laughs> Bro, they couldn't they couldn't make good Flash costuming in that series for the, to save somebody's fucking life, dude. I know, right? God. It was so bad. Like neither of the fucking Flash costumes in the DCEU fucking looked. Good See, to me. here's what here's what they gotta do. This is why I have faith. In James Gunn DC, James Gunn's DC. Okay, I'm not gonna go on a four-hour rant. This is what they gotta do: kill Barry Allen, get him out of the picture, okay? Cause he sucks anyway. Okay, he's not. 
He's not the best Flash. You gotta, you gotta, you gotta kill go Barry Allen. You gotta pull a crisis, and you gotta put Wally West in that bitch because he's infinitely better anyway. <laughs> like, I could sit down, and I could talk to you for like hours about how they could map this shit out because it's it's right there. Oh my god. It's right fucking there. Because Wally is better in every single way, way anyway. Anyway, no, I won't okay, do it. I, I won't go on this. a rant. I'm gonna go. I'm gonna say two things real quick. One, yep. the four by three thing might just be. It might bother me just because it, tro- it it gives me Vietnam flashbacks to when Bryce told me to watch the fucking lighthouse, and that shit fucked me up. <laughs> uh, that, that movie peak is film, dude. Yeah, it's great. Um, second of all. The thing that makes me incredibly excited about James Gunn, like, doing the DC stuff now, is, like, okay, so, James Gunn was able to make the Guardians films as good as they are, even under the tight-gripped umbrella of fucking Disney. Disney's Marvel Mm -hmm. is so focus-tested that basically having a director is basically just a formality at that point. Like, yeah, no, yeah. Really. like, yeah, like liter- I don't know. And, uh, you know, people are dogging on the, the lineup, but like, you know, I have very mixed feelings about Tom King and his flash, but that's another, uh, another rant that we can go but, on, but like, they're making a I- Supergirl film and it's like, it's based off of like one of the best Supergirl stories that, and also, okay. One of the things that I'm the most excited for, this isn't coming out until I'm like married and having kids like fucking uh, 15 years down never? the line, I'm sure. But the, the fucking, um, the he guy that directed Logan that he manipulates into marrying him. Yeah, you know the one Logan. that he yeah yeah yeah, he yeah. With his, Listen, with his it's part of the plan. <laughs> it's part of. The but the um. You're missing the pan. It's gonna, it's gonna I, work. I dude. can't wait. I can't wait for Bryce to get his degree and then suddenly he just becomes fucking Xavier. <laughs> 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 with his mind powers, just like. <laughs> okay, well I'm not gonna go that far. We are the future, Charles, not them. <laughs> we all the future. Wait, but the same guy that directed Logan is uh, is directing the Swamp Thing movie. Okay, I don't know if y'all know anything about Swamp Thing. I don't know yeah, shit about cool. Swamp Thing. Swamp, swamp Thing is cool. so fucking sick, dude. Ugh! He's directing the Swamp Thing movie, and it's gonna be a fucking. Oh, they're gonna lean into the horror movie aspect, which is awesome. I'm so excited. And again, oh, yeah. I could talk about it for an hour, but I, I won't. I I am very curious as to uh, as to who James is gonna cast for um, B- Brave and the Bold Batman verse, whatever the. Uh, fuck it's gonna it. be Will Smith. No, it will not. Uh, it better. It's gonna be. Um... <laughs> I don't want Oscar Slap He's Man gonna... to be fucking to be fucking Batman. <laughs> He's gonna. He's gonna slap fucking Joker. <laughs> Keep Robin's name oh, wow. out your fucking <laughs> mouth. Dude, uh, Ben Affleck is gonna make his comeback. Obviously, duh. No, okay, I mean, okay. I, honestly, that could he could cook because Ben honestly, Affleck. Was, I... Ben Affleck was not that bad of a Batman. It's okay. not his fault he was put into dog shit movies, dude. That's right. That's right. Okay, you know. Dark Knight okay. Returns is one of the most iconic no, yeah, yeah, Batman. Yeah, no, li- yeah, no for real. He's if built you like just Batman do a Dark Knight Returns, Returns movie. Yeah, no, no, that's what they, they were trying Dark to do, Knight and Returns I totally movie. respect that. If they yeah. just did that, I totally movie, respect that. That's what they were going for. But you can't do that like right off the bat, right off yeah, your you first can't. movie. You can't just yeah, be like, okay, can't. we're gonna do a Batman versus Superman, and uh, okay, Batman is uh, he's an asshole. How about and this? How about guns. we just do mo- okay? How about we just do separate movies that have no connection to each other? Just like separate yeah, dude. stories that tell their own fucking story. That's literally what comics sure. do. Just do that shit, dude. Literally, you like, know that they, granted, they're not I gonna do that. But not yeah. everything has to be fucking connected. DC related, but not everything has to be connected. You know, everything can be just their own fucking stories. Everything can be their it's, own fucking it, narratives. Like, why not yeah. just do that? Yeah. Like fucking, I don't know. I say that, and I'm, I'm like over the moon excited for gotta, gotta think of that all paper. of the DC stuff coming out. So, fucking, no, nah, it's gonna be great. The, I, I, because I, I may have, or may not, I may or may not have like look, three DC tattoos. I, I know next to nothing about the guy playing fucking Superman. The guy, I know he was in Pearl. You know, and uh, and, and he, like he was bad. great in that, and he looks, he looks, he looks great as Superman. He looks handsome. He's great in Pearl for, Dude. like, the two seconds that he's there. He's yeah, great but... <laughs> in Twisters for, like, the two seconds that he's there. Did you did you see, like, how they're doing the Clark Kent thing, too? Like, how his hair yeah, looks Yeah, he, he looks like, like a fucking... 
evil. He looks like such a little dweebus, and I. I <laughs> he looks I like a dweeb. It is awesome. I'm like, finally, dude. Fuck, dude, bro. Okay, cr- okay. Christopher Reeves, Clark Kent, was so fucking good, dude. I loved him. Just you like guys gotta go see that Superman documentary about Christopher Reeve. I've heard it's no, really good. Actually, They're not showing yeah, it on my German theaters. Yeah, no, because I they hate me. Watch that. But I need to watch Wait, um, like out. the rest of the Reeves movies, though. I haven't seen the second one or the third one yet. I, I mean, really want to watch them. What? I mean, it, everybody knows it's, me, though. Everybody, it's very, it's very in quality, but. I mean, everybody knows that it's really gross that they 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 showed Christopher Reeves at the end of the Flash movie for no fucking oh reason God. for like two seconds. Very good. <sighs> Pretty fucked up. There's that, that that was fucked up. Listen, we don't talk about that movie. I'm just glad Zack Snyder isn't in charge anymore because there was an interview where he was like, "Hey guys, here's what I was gonna do. Right, we're gonna have um, we're gonna have um, uh, Bruce Wayne. Uh, he's gonna marry Lois, and the 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 fucking the 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 Amazonians aren't actually Amazonians, and they're aliens from outer space for some reason. And also, oh, I was gonna do a reverse Flash. Oh my God. You know oh what my though? God. You, the the Flash still probably isn't the worst DCEU movie though. I don't know about that. Uh, it's it's for me. It's either that or Wonder Woman eighty four. It's pretty I'm damn. I'm a little close. biased. Wonder Woman. Ri- okay. Wonder Woman eighty four okay, was really fucking bad. Yeah. Leave it to James Gunn to have to fix the Suicide Squad movie. Leave it to him. Oh my god! Yeah, poke it on, man. The Suicide Peak Squad is our character. It's the the Suicide Squad, not Suicide Squad. The Suicide Squad. What are you talking about? They're both cinematic masterpieces, Andre. Except, no. No, I respectfully I disagree. <laughs> no, um, it, fuck no. The first movie's not good. I don't know. The best no, part no, about no, that movie okay, is Harley. Andre, 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 look, this is the moment where you cannot say respectfully. No, this is the moment where you have to say I disrespectfully Dis- disagree. <laughs> I respect I respectfully fucked your mom, okay? <laughs> the, the first time was going in the quote book. slammed her cheek <laughs> shut. <laughs> I fucking opened that. <laughs> I parted those cheeks like the Red Sea and just went in there. Oh fucking, I'm, I'm I fucking. I led my your people toast. in there. That's what I call my nuts. That's that's what I think of your opinion of the Suicide Squad 2016. Okay. Suicide... <laughs> Thanks for the info, dude. But uh, J- but the James Gunn Suicide Squad movie is actually arguably the best DC EU film, like in total, yeah. which is so, so fucking funny. funny. It's like actually Logan, good. Cut- like what's the Except competition? For the fact that they killed Captain what, Boomerang, what, what, but that's what, what's its competition though? Like Man of Steel. <laughs> the, uh, you know, Man of Steel isn't that bad until it's it's not that bad, but it's the it's, end where it's like, oh yeah, no, he kills a bunch of people. Like, yeah, okay. like it's just kind of boring. That, that, he kills a like, bunch of people and then gets really sad when he kills one it, person. It, it's it does really not have drags. the same charm as the fuck as the first movie. It just it really drags, charm. dude. Like it feel like that the movie's only like what like two hours long and it feels like it's fucking five. Mm-hmm. Fucking uh, yeah, oh. I'm a. I I'll I'm a I'll, big I'll put reservations. Fan, so. I'll put reservations aside. I haven't seen the Blue Beetle. I've heard it's pretty good. It's pretty good. Is it good? Is it good? Okay, yeah. it's pretty good. Uh, yeah, you know, I I went to go see that in Aquaman too because I'm I'm a DC fan and I'm really heard, coping and I hoping that Aquaman, all these movies are gonna be good. I heard Aquaman two was just straight ass. It's awful. And, I love uh, Black Manta so much, but it's yeah, it's, and, it's awful. And Black Adam was like the most generic oh superhero God. movie I've ever seen in my life. What a waste! Oh of, my God! Yeah, they really changed the DC universe with Shazam that one. Shazam one I thought was a good start, but the second one just infuriated me. Yeah. And then Zach, then Zachary Levi ended up being a real pos too. Yeah. So He's like, a weirdo. It, yeah, no. Yeah. <laughs> Which sucks, because I thought he was, like, a really good Shazam. Like, you know, like, he was really fucking good. Like, the first one was fun. The second yeah, one really was fun. fun. sucked. It was so boring. The second one is And awful. also, like, just, like, the villains didn't even... Okay, like, the villains in the second movie could not even, like, get on the same page, and they kept fucking betraying each other over and over again, and all they did was argue. Like, it wasn't... You know like, it, it was so fucking stupid. I can't even tell you what their names were. That should I don't even tell you the fucking names, dude. Like, like, yeah. yeah, like all they did was argue with each other. That's it was why just I'm holding so out dumb. hope for this new DC universe, man. We gotta get that I Supergirl know. film. We gotta get that Plastic Man film that is almost certainly happening. 
I want Jim Carrey to play fucking Plastic Man. You know, Man. um, <laughs> I guess at old. one point, um, might... Ben Schwartz really wanted to play Plastic Man, and I, I really hope that you that know happens. What? You know what? He's about the right age for that. Yeah, you know? he's like, that. apparently that's like his dream. And, uh, oh. Imagine I just really get, love yeah. to see that. Speaking of... Speaking of actors and dreams, baby, Channing Tatum as Gambit. Oh, my God. Oh, my God. You know how long oh I've been waiting God. for this? I'm about to make a name for myself here. Me? Dude, Deadpool Wolverine was so fucking fun. See, we're eating, oh we're eating good, but only sometimes. It's know, it's right? weird. It's like I have such low expectations for good superhero films these days yeah. that when like a good one comes around, I'm like blown away by it. <laughs> I know, right? Like, fuck. Dude. The thing about it is that, yeah. like... It wasn't like this. Like, like it wasn't year, like this. Do you know? Ten years ago, like we we just got like Iron Man three or whatever. You know, like that one wasn't that bad. I, I you know what? Right. People shit on that all the time. It's not no, that bad. Shit on okay? Iron, no, okay, no, no, people no, no, shit on no. Iron Man two I, all the time. I, too, I, I thought that was a good movie. That one's fun, at least. You know. I cannot talk yeah, about um, Iron Man two. This has been a very long time since I've seen it, but uh, I do I, remember really enjoying three. Three is good. Bleed. People cease to believe in them. But no, like the D, the no, the MCU was like was like rock solid until like yeah, around and until around while. like what like the end of Phase Three, like basically like yeah. right up until the end of Phase Three is when it started getting a little messy, and then everything after that, re- except for like two films, has been a, a absolute fucking mess. Yeah, and then, mm-hmm. it's rough. Because like it sucks because I, I know like the Marvels. What I went to go see that in theaters because like, I knew someone that worked on that film. It's it really should have ended. That's after, right. Yeah, I remember you telling me that. It really yeah, should have ended time. after Endgame, to be honest with you. Yeah. <laughs> like if there was any, like the only film off the top of my head that like single handedly justifies his existence since Endgame, it was Guardians Three. Oh, uh, yeah. Like. The other ones weren't that. Well, some of them weren't that bad. Like Shang Chi was pretty good. I liked. That. Oh yeah, I dude. Liked that one. The, the action. Yeah, that one was, I, was I, pretty fun. fantastic. Shang Chi and No Way Home, I think, were pretty. You know, were, were awesome. But like, no yeah, Home Guardians loses Three a lo- is just. No Way Home loses so much of its luster after the first watch, though. Yeah, it does. Oh, I'm like, sure. Generally. Which is so sad because, like, that's like easily, I think, the best Spider-Man movie that has come out lately. Yeah, man. Can you believe that? I mean, Spider- we got Craven coming out. Aren't you excited for Craven? Oh, fuck I, that. I could not care. give less of a fuck, dude. And Venom, Venom three were. Uh, okay, no. Uh, I mean, Venom three, fucking... Venom three. I'm actually kind of excited for. Venom okay, whoa, 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 whoa. They got um. What the good, fuck though. is his name? Ah, oh, what the fuck is his name? Who's Norman Reedus playing in that movie? Did you hear about oh, this? He's playing. He's playing a uh, fucking. No, uh, which is fucking okay. What? Why would you do that? You gotta build up to that. You can't just have that be a thing. Because no is such an integral part of the Spider-Man universe. You can't do that. Watch, man. he's gonna be a one-off oh, villain. So he's never seen yeah, that's what they're gonna do. And it hurts, man. Where did, where did Matt just say he was going? Hmm? Matt said he's going somewhere. Oh, that's fine. He said he'll be right back. Yeah, I guess... Um, yeah, Noel is a, it's a pretty shaky choice. I mean, Who needs uh, Venom 3 when you have Morbius, am I right? Fucking Christ. Am like, I right, fellas? Am I all, right? All, yeah, no, I, I never saw that film. I, I, like, all of those films are, like, they're not even just bad. They're boring bad, you know? Which sucks. Which is, like, oh, man. It really, yeah, like, they uh, they really uh, jibated us in that, that, that little trailer. The first, I remember seeing the first trailer and be like, holy shit, uh, Andrew Spider-Man is coming back? That's pretty cool. And then that never happened. Yeah, I, I saw. Right, I for, you know, sorry. at the end, I, I forgot how much uh, G feel makes me piss my pants. Uh, yeah, no, it was yeah, so no, my, funny my how like I re- I remember I remember when me, Matt, Ryan, and Seabass we were all watching Venom two in theaters, and then oh, like, boy. and like they had the big end credit scene where they, it showed Venom getting transported to the MCU. Like two months, oh, like a yeah. month before fucking No Way Home came out, and we were all like, "Oh my god, Venom's Holy gonna shit. be in the MCU! Oh Jesus, it's gonna be so awesome! I wonder what he's gonna do in the film." And then like fucking, he did li- like literally nothing. Nothing. <laughs> mm-hmm. All he did was yeah. leave a little bit of pre cum on the desk of a bar, and then just yeah. like, <laughs> <laughs> pretty much. Yeah. He left a little bit of nut, and that's gonna be going to Tom Holland pretty fucking soon. 
whenever they do their oh, Secret I Wars hope. movie. Yeah, did, did, did you know that they're doing, the, like, you know, Robert Downey Jr. is Doctor Doom is terrible casting. I'm just going to say that right now. Yeah. But uh, they're going to do the Doomsday so Avengers dumb. film. They're do- Apparently, they already confirmed that the, the, the Dooms- that at the Doomsday uh, fucking Avengers film that they're building up to, uh, Spider-Man is already going to be in a symbiote thing by that point, and he's going to be, like, an active antagonist. <laughs> We're good? Wow. Interesting. I, okay, so my... <sighs> My thing about um, them doing, like, a Doomsday movie is, like, Doctor Doom is such a massive, prolific villain. Like, you're going to do only one He's an integral him, character. I know. Like, what? I feel like they should do more than just one movie for him. Like, do some, like, Infinity War shit with him. Like, do, like, a two-parter. Don't just do one movie. Like, what the fuck, man? I don't know. Like, yeah. I feel like he's I just too big I mean, I a guess... villain to only do one movie. I mean, they did that with Ultron, but, like... I don't know. But I guess he's coming back eventually, yeah. right? Yeah, they, yeah. He's for they plan on the Vision back. show that I'm sure everybody's gonna watch. I'm not. I have a. I have, I have not watched any God, of the fucking dude. shows except for like I think I watched the first season of Loki. Yeah, yeah Loki. Loki. that's why I watched Loki. that too. But okay, I'm just so busy the watching first... up Penguin. And actively plotting out my my four year degree plan where I'm gonna get I, all the goth the big titty like, goth women. I I don't like that it like they're making you watch TV shows now with them because it's, it feels yeah like you know what I think like it really depends because you know I, I, at first when I was like what they're making a penguin show that's kind of weird but I I because you know I really like Colin Farrell as the penguin but I, it felt a little weird and then I saw the first two episodes and I was like holy shit this is actually like stands you know th- this that's the thing that i keep hearing people say is like uh, why are they making the television shows i totally get it and i feel like in in terms of like this show specifically even if you're not a fan of batman like if you know nothing about batman you could probably still go into the show and enjoy it quite a bit it's like sopranos but batman it's fucking oh, awesome plus sopranos. you got i fucking love the sopranos sophia like falcone shows. which May or may not be one of the main reasons that I'm watching the show, but that's neither here nor there. <laughs> I, st- I, I gotta watching. say though, um, I gotta say though, literally the best uh, live action comic book thing is Daredevil, just like 100. Like, oh my god, I, like, I, so like, I almost Daredevil met him show? at the Comic Con, and he dipped show? out like two yeah. weeks before the actual Comic Con, and I'm very sad because I like literally, 3D like, printed a helmet that I was gonna get signed. Oh yeah, nah, that I I've, know, like, I've only seen like a. Co- I've only seen the episodes of the show that Matt showed me it, and it it was rock solid. It was it's really fucking good. Peak fiction, Very good. I I just really Iron suck Fist at was television. okay. Luke Cage was okay, and Jessica Jones I have not seen yet. I have not seen Is any of yet? them besides Daredevil. You know, but like, but. yeah, and I'm pretty excited for the new Daredevil: Born Again, though. I'm, I'm I hope, dude, because they're do, they're doing some pretty cool stuff. They're teasing some cool things. Not to mention, like, cool they're things. bringing back all the actors, too. Like, they're bringing back Foggy and the, um... Yeah, that, and the, which originally wasn't going to happen. They were going to kill mm-hmm. them off in the show, and then everyone heard about it, and they rewrote, like, the whole thing. Yeah. Well, I think Vincent you know, Farrow, I think fans. it's coming back as well. Yeah, um... D'Anafria, D'Anafria, whatever his name is, yeah. Yeah, yeah whatever. So and... The fucking Vincent Sonoff Amato, fucking whatever his name is. Vincent, uh, yo mama, yeah. They're bringing in, um, Muse, which you probably don't really know a ton about Muse, but he's, uh... I sure do. Oh, you told me about him, yeah, he's a... He's a he's fantastic villain. Mm-hmm. I, uh, yeah. I, 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 uh, I recently started watching, uh, Breaking Bad. <laughs> oh my goodness. Oh yeah. That's a great uh, show. I, I, I think Fantastic. we're. Uh, we, I finished the first two episodes uh, the Better other Call day Saul's with Sean. Than, He's it's good. Better. It's what good did you say? Stuff, man. Better Call Saul is better than Breaking Bad, but still good though. Breaking Bad still. Oh good. yeah, I mean oh, I've heard wow. that. I, I, I've heard that you that like you really won't understand Better Call Saul if you don't watch. Yeah, Breaking I mean Bad first, it's though. integral. Yeah, no. Uh, yeah, I know. Yeah, yeah, I know. you gotta watch. Be- you gotta watch Breaking Bad first, then watch Better Call Saul. You know, okay, like usually, usually I'm like, oh yeah, no, like watch the prequel, then you know, like watch it chronologically. But no, dude, you have to watch Breaking Bad first to like actually uh, you understand. You know, I, I need to get Better back into that show because I got like a decent way in and I never finished it because I got caught up with school. But you know, it, it sucks because Saul is like, I love like lawyer shit, like. Mm-hmm. I'm a big Ace Attorney guy. 
I oh, could yeah. talk about that series for a very long time. But Saul they was my the, my favorite character in that series. They have the AC Attorney games on PlayStation. I should probably get them. Cause I've been yeah, awesome the first three are re- okay. They're, uh, they're the first three are really good. Now. The third game is like one of my top ten favorite games of all time. Just for one of the characters, he's like, oh my god, it's really good. And then I played uh, four through. F- I played four and five, and then that's where I ended. But nice. they're they're good games. And the the soundtrack. Oh, that's the fucking soundtrack, brother. Oh, it's so good. <laughs> yeah, my uh, my roommate. Uh, my roommate Tracy's like a, a big old fucking uh, Ace Attorney fan. Tell Tracy that she has good taste. Yeah, well, yeah, I'll do that then. Yeah, <laughs> we're good. She's oh, Bryce. I finished Order of Ecclesia. <gasps> yeah, what do you think? Yeah, we talked about it a little bit. I. Okay, the Dracula fight is bullshit, but it wasn't bad. Um, I liked how Dracula was trying to riz up on fucking uh, Shinoa. I thought that was pretty funny. Because uh, why would you but not? But like, but like, right. the game itself, like, it's a cool standalone game, but. It ain't oh, beating Portrait of Ruin, yeah? baby. It ain't beating oh, Portrait of Ruin. Is fucking so awesome. So this is a... You're talking about it a castle, man. Yeah. Yeah. It, 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 oh, okay. it, it ain't beating Portrait of Ruin or Donosaro, baby. Or fucking even Aaron. All right, Donosaro is games. not as into. Bryce. But that's me. Bryce, you gotta play the other I will say, part. I, I think Portrait of Ruin was my favorite. Card part. Yeah, I gotta go back. Part. Portrait of Ruin was my favorite. You're missing. But I, I find myself consistently going back to the Order of Ecclesia soundtrack, which is fucking You know what's fantastic. Fu- Bryce, Bryce, you know what's funny? I'm replaying yes, Order of Ecclesia as Argus, and it's way more fun. Oh, oh yeah, you can do that. Yeah, I'm playing it as Argus, and it's way more fun than playing as Shinoa. Really? I'm going to be honest with you. It's so fun. Literally, he I has, like, a fucking... He has, like, a fire, like, kick, you know, like uh, Ken's fucking Tatsumaki. It's oh, literally yeah. just that, and it's so fun to use. It's so broken, too. Genuinely. If I ever have but free time sometime though, in the next I will say 15 though, years. none of these games hold a candle to Symphony of the Night, though. The glorious the, Oh, game. dude, yeah, Symphony is my favorite. I, I bought the uh, the vinyl, of them. and it should be. Hold a candle uh, to my king, my glorious king. Alucard. It's actually, Alucard. it was funny, the other day we were, uh, me and my roommates were watching, like, video game trivia quizzes, like, to see how much, oh, uh, yeah. the, like, the 50 questions and, like, one of them was the soundtrack one, and they played, like, the first three notes of the Dracula's Castle theme from Symphony of the Night. Oh, yeah. I was like, oh, uh, it's... <laughs> I immediately <laughs> knew it. And, uh... Oh, yeah. I got... Yeah. It turns out... Because I brainwashed I, I, you. Yeah. Uh, I ended up getting, like, 50 points more than, like, the rest of my roommates got <laughs> in that fucking whole quiz, which just goes to show you, yeah. I can learn and see and hear everything about games. I can do all of that. I just can't play any of them. <laughs> Yeah. <laughs> i'm just asked when it co- give me the controller no, you, on that one. you give me the controller i'm cooked but i can i can listen yeah. to the soundtrack real good yeah you're like yeah the, uh, yeah no you're you're the spectator you're the one that enjoys which is the so art. funny uh, yeah i'm 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 ass at video games which is why it's so funny that i stream video games two days a week yeah. but you know uh It'll be you know, all right. funny though. I uh, think you... you could go farther than KSI and fucking Elden Ring though. You'd go farther than KSI would. Uh, I don't Elden know Ring. nothing. What is KSI like famously bad at fucking Elden Ring? The motherfu- is that the motherfucker? I don't even. Okay, I don't know if he has beaten uh the like literally like the first boss in Elden Ring, but this motherfucker like just struggled so hard and it just became a fucking I mean... meme lately. And I'm terrible at video games, and I beat Andre, the first boss in I mean, Elden Ring. Andre, you I mean, could the, beat the first boss in Elden Ring. If I can I'm do sure, it, I'm sure anybody I could. can. I'm sure I could. I mean, like, I mean, the last thing I heard about KSI even though was like the whole thing where like uh, Dan DDM was criticizing KSI. Uh, yeah. And uh, like Logan the, Paul and B- Mr. Beast for doing like their Lunchables knockoff. And like every, and they got like really pissy about it. So the entire internet space like started dogging on all three of them because you don't fuck with Dan right. DDM. It was so fucking. Funny. <laughs> I think even Lunchables like tweeted out. They were like, "Yeah, we, we stand with him on this one." It's like, damn, <laughs> you don't, 
It's like no, even like Jacksepticeye like fucking quote tweeted like Dan DT TDM's post about it is saying like when people criticize Dan TDM, it's like you mess with one of us, you mess with all of us. It's like oh, yeah. it's the fucking g- gift from the first yeah. Spider-Man movie. You good. mess with all of us, you mess with all of us. Spider-Man tries to save you mess a bunch with one of, of us, kids. you mess with all of us. I love that. Dude. So great. That's that's true New York right there, baby. That's true Spider-Man New York right there. I love that shit. God, you're making me want to replay. So fun. Damn. Yeah. I, because, you know, I would always trust my five-year-old with drinking Prime, you know. Fuck you. Absolutely. <laughs> Why not? You, absolutely. You always need to I trust feel like I'd be a, to drink Prime. I feel like I'd be a failure as a parent if I didn't let my children drink Prime. <laughs> I'm gonna, you know what? I'll, I'll have my pregnant wife drink Prime. So my, my, my baby... You know, it's like, it's like, you know, it's like you get your wife to drink, just like fucking powered up. This is part of the plan, dude. Once I get that, the big titty god girlfriend. Okay. No, Bryce, what you need to do is you need to have your pregnant wife drink fucking prime and then let her get struck by lightning. And then all of a sudden Wally West is born. Oh my God. No, she like, (laughs) she just drinks like a fuckload of gamer subs before she gets the the baby turns out like to create the ultimate gamer baby. It's just tur- no, it's just turbo. <laughs> just turbo. Wow, yeah, like that snail, snail was fast. That's literally yeah, the I'm... only line I remember from that fucking movie. Is wow, that <laughs> snail was fast. Your your the baby comes out and he's just like bluey. It looks like Electro from Amazing Spider-Man Two. <laughs> That was like one of my favorite nostalgia critic bits. He was like, "Yeah, no, I got bit by a lightning bug while drinking Red Bull. Now I got now I got lightning powers." <laughs> <laughs> fucking, fucking funny Christ. Shit. People saying nostalgia oh, critic isn't funny. Nah, fuck you. Nostalgia critic was funny. He still is. Look, the wall. The, look, the wall review is really bad, but you know he can be pretty funny sometimes. Okay. I'll be, okay, look, dude, look. Okay, every look. There, you're never gonna have like. Okay, not everybody can be divide music. Okay, divide music is literally peak after peak after peak after peak after peak. Okay, not everybody can be divide. I'm, I'm just gonna say that. Right, not everybody can be perfect every single time, you know. But you I'm know, just waiting credit where credits do. I'm gonna say that Doug is pretty funny at least seven out of ten times. I gotta watch more, I mean, man. Andre, I haven't gone far to go into the rabbit hole. Ryan, I mean our Andre. Fuck, sorry, Andre. Our fucking profile pic for the Round Room Boys Discord is just Fat Doug Walker. Like, yeah, that how is that not was fucking funnier a, than that, like? That his thumbnail is funnier than like ninety percent of the videos he's made. <laughs> I don't know. I, I don't know, man. Like the fucking the, the have a cookie bit, fucking where he's like doing like the commercial have reviews and shit. Well, his yeah, commercial no, reviews are like, peak. Just, they're so great, dude. Have a cookie. It have just a like cookie. Fu- fucking like pulls up a gun right in front of have a cookie. I said have a cookie. <laughs> <laughs> Dude, dude, the, the, the commercials back in the day were so fucking fun. Okay, Bryce, I don't know if you know about this, but there's like this uh, cookie brand. I, I forgot what it's called, like Monster Cookie or something. And um, and and the commercial would literally just be like a random like monster hand, like putting cookies in kids' mouths randomly. And it's and so just be fucking like uncomfortable and funny. It's so funny, dude. I mean, how else do you sell cookies to children? Just shove them yeah, down the kids' throat. and children. Yeah, just uh, just shoving it's like your that. Throat. It's like that one fuck. I love that one commercial where it's like the kid jumping on the mattress, but then it's like, you, uh, but then he like jumps on the other mattress across the room and just instantly dies. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, and, uh, I miss when commercials used to be just like genuinely. Fun. I don't know. Like I was watching Modern Family earlier with my mom this morning, and Peacock has been getting some pretty funny ads. Like genuinely, like some of them are pretty good. Like there's. Like, there's, like, Capital One, uh, like, uh, you know, like, the Capital One card ad. There's one where it's, like, it's, like, a bunch of, like, women, like, playing softball. Like, one of them is just crying about their credit. And they fucking, the other one's, like, are you crying about your credit? You need to have Capital One. Like, it, like, like it's actually kind of funny. Like, they need to start, like, it, fucking, like, I don't know. Like, what made commercials so fun back in the day was just how fucking memorable <laughs> they are. And most advertisements now just aren't, like, great anymore. They're just like very basic. Shit. Yeah, I mean, you know, not every commercial can be as peak as punk, a puppy monkey baby. You know, it's it's not you know, every it kind of not peak, every YouTube kind of, advertisement can there, be a Jontron you know? ad, dude. 
Okay, I'm gonna tell you right now, JonTron is like one of the best content creators for ads. He makes like the best fucking advertisements whenever he does sponsors. Like genuinely, like some of the best ones. Look, say what you want about John Tron, okay? But uh, there, there's no ad better than um the the bag of to bag of toys, okay? Oh my fucking god, dude! No, I that's that's a deep dude, dive. That oh right my there. god, dude! You know I'm so dude. I am so mad that my fucking uh like my old school email I I, I can't access it anymore because that's where like I had all of those fucking stupid ass film. Yeah, it's, I was I was trying to show my made. friend one of those the other day. Yeah, a and while it's just back. completely remember gone. The, and I, remember I don't the have fun access dip to that we did? Remember the fun dip? Oh my uh, god! Like PSA that we did that that ended up like getting us in trouble. Hmm. The fun, fun no, dip. Me, me and me and me and Matt and Ashton oh. did like a fun dip at a PSA yeah, thing fun in dip, theater class. Yeah. Fun dip, great. This is bad as rape. Uh, no, 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 no. I don't know if we could say that word on uh, on stream. <laughs> I'm just saying, it's fucking funny. Uh, it's, uh, is as bad. it's as bad as a word that rhymes with grape, for sure. Um, yeah, oh. my thoughts exactly. <laughs> it was a different time back in 2017. <laughs> well, also, I mean, Andre, you know me. I do know you. <laughs> we were just talking about, we were just talking about <laughs> duct tapes and rope last week. <laughs> Oh yeah, that's right. Yep. Yeah, so that, that happened. I'm still a, I'm still an edgy teenager from 2006. All right. At heart. Yeah. This yeah I mean, I, if you were allowed to, to I bet. I bet you yeah. like them uh, Michael Bay Transformers movies, don't you, Matthew? What I've done? I've done. I face my. Oh wow. my God. You're one good push away from getting the 2012 Anthony Padilla haircut. <laughs> oh Please do I that. Actually, <laughs> I actually did straighten my hair uh, in high school, and I immediately regretted it. It was so bad. Like, my fucking hair was just, like, it was in the way constantly. Like, it, like okay, like, it wasn't bad because of how cringed it looked. It was just annoying as fuck to have. Like, that's, like, yeah, half that's, the reason I got my hair pretty long for, uh... I, Sorry, keep going. I oh, know you're good, man. My bad. No, I, I, I was done with my uh, I got my hair pretty long pretty for Comic Con, because uh, I had to dress up as Anakin. Yeah, Skywalker. when you did the well, nobody, you didn't have, have to. That fucking... Yes, I did. Oh, well, dude, Hayden Christensen was supposed to be there, and then he dipped out like two minutes before the con, like a uh, week or two before. But I, I, I did get lucky. Crazy. You should send angry and I met, letters uh, to Hayden Christensen. You should send like angry. Dude, yeah, I'm gonna send a hate mail. Be like, fuck, you. what the fuck, dude? Yeah. To the whom yeah, it no. may concern, I would like Hayden Christensen to know that I was very disappointed yeah. about his. Dude, you know what? It ended up being okay. There for me. You should um, you should start beef with him online. Oh and yeah, hundred percent. I've already done that. And then just shit happened. on him. And then just shit on him. Yeah. For years and years, and, t and, and then when you finally meet him, you give him a warm, embracing hug. And you call oh him yeah, a bitch. it's all part of the plan, dude. I don't know. I worked out. I met with. Uh, I met uh, James Arnold Taylor, the voice of uh, oh Obi Wan, God, and we dude, talked about so Nausicaa. Awesome. That's not. And just it was fucking peak. Yeah, no. Uh, I, for oh, fuck, I forget Tess the. You're talking to. I met the guy that voiced Anakin. I cannot remember his name, but I remember. I go. I went up to get my Star Wars records signed. Okay, and. Uh, yeah. James Arnold Taylor. I was I talked to him about about Nausicaa, and then he also played Flash for like two seconds in Young Justice. So I was dressed up as Flash, and he was like, "Oh hell yeah, that's dope." But um, he was like, "I have oh, one request yeah. and one request only." Okay, I was like, "Yeah, okay, sure." He's like, "Okay, uh, presumably you're gonna get this signed by everyone else. If you do, I have only one request. I want uh, his name is Matt something. He voices Anakin. I cannot remember his last name." But he's like, I want yeah, him to be underneath me. I have to have the high ground. This is a requirement. If this doesn't happen, I will know. And I did. And it was amazing. I walked up to him, and I was like, hey, man, before we do anything, I have one request. And he was like, he wants the high ground, doesn't he? He does this all the time. <laughs> it was awesome. <laughs> and I walked up to Ashley Eckstein, the voice of Ahsoka, and she called me Sky Guy, and I melted. It was, uh, it was awesome. Wait, what was her? What was her name? 
Ashley Eckstein. Oh, not okay. Epstein. <laughs> <laughs> Easy there, buddy. I was worried there for a second. <laughs> no, okay. The important thing is that she called me Sky Guy, okay? So I can die happy man. And then D. Bradley Baker talked about uh, talked to me about uh, records. He was well, like, "Yeah, it's funny that you bring this record. I I, I used to uh, I used to be such a Star Wars super fan, but I sat down and I recognized that all of the songs on the actual records were out of order. So I sat down and I recorded them all myself and I burned them onto a onto a, a thing. And uh, yeah, I, you brought back childhood memories. It was awesome. Well, I got to great. meet so many people." And I want to go back. I saw quite possibly the worst movie I've ever seen in my entire life. But, you know, it's fine. These things happen. Kinds of kindness, man. It was, uh, That's it was really something. It's really something. Yeah, it was not a good movie. Uh, I, you know, you, they, you, they can't always win. You know, it's just like The Flash. It yeah, you know, it. I'd heard really good things about the director, and I was very excited. Uh, remember when Tom Cruise said The Flash was going to be good? Oh, God. Yeah, I just yeah, gotta stop talking to people. I don't know, man. I that hold movie's weird. This movie. I'm not gonna go on about this right now, but this movie had four like it was a bunch of short stories, I guess, put together. Granted, I was not entirely sober, so maybe that has something to do with it. But there were there were four credits. Okay, the credits rolled four times. So imagine my surprise. Okay, the first time the credits rolled, I was like, okay, thank God, it's late. I can go home and go to bed. And then uh, it kept going, and this happened three more times. <laughs> and, uh, yeah, it was not fun. It sucked. It was not, not, a, good, not a good movie, which sucks because uh, Willem Dafoe and Emma Stone and uh, Jesse Plemons, and, like, that whole cast was so cool. I love Emma Stone so much, and then it's just well, yeah. not, not a great film. She's the best one, yeah. Stacy. Thank you for coming to my TED Talk. I just... Uh, I really needed to get that out there, I guess. Well, that we're, we're happy for you that you were able to to release that pent up aggression. Yeah. Maybe I'm just not big brain enough. I don't know. You know, maybe maybe you're not. You know. But the, you know, I think that's that fine. might be it. We love you anyway. Oh, he's like, oh, he went out again. Rut row. Oh well, uh, you know, it's it's it's, it's a it's an awful shame that Matt isn't here to defend himself from all those child diddling allegations we have against oh, him. Oh yeah, that's right. Um, Wait, whoa, 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 <laughs> when? When was this? Why did you? Why did you agree with me before registering what the fuck I said? Yeah, I have. Um, yeah, <laughs> is that right? Oh, uh, maybe we need no, to talk no, to Matt. No, like no, obviously no. He's a he's a good person at heart. Yeah, he's a great person. Yeah, you know. uh... I love him like a brother. He would most of the children. time. Most of the time. Anyway. He would never touch children most of the time. No, I'm just kidding. Oh, no. my God. Um. <laughs> no. Okay. <laughs> where is he? <laughs> yeah, anyway. Um. Uh, where is he? Where did he go? <laughs> he dipped out, man. <laughs> right, bro. Uh, I guess. Um, I'm. Should we wait for him to come back before ending it? Yeah, oh, I was no, about to say. Gone. Oh, he keeps he, like gone. straight up dipped out. Oh yeah, know. he's like gone from the screen and everything. He's he's fucked. That organ Wi-Fi ain't treating him. So, oh, oh, he's back. Yeah, I guess so. Oh, there, yeah, yeah there he is. Hello. All right, boys. Ah, oh, motherfucker, hold up. I gotta reset my uh, headphones. Okay. I mean, uh, you guys I there? Mean, this is... Yeah. Okay. I mean, what I can the hear fuck? You. Okay. What God fuck? damn it, dude. Okay, so my okay, so my computer like completely overheated and was fucking spazzing out, having an aneurysm, but I'm back now. Okay, what yeah, the mean, actual good, fuck? I mean, that was a that was a that was a that was as good a spot as any to, to wrap it up, probably. Then. Huh? Yeah, 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 yeah. I was about to say, yeah, we should wrap it up. Um, yeah, we're we're hitting that. I gotta mark. do homework and be a responsible adult. Yeah, fuck that. Yeah. Oh God. <laughs> End me. <laughs> Anyways, all right. all right, guys. Well, you guys have a good one. Also, Andre, fuck yeah, you. I am one. not a diddler. Yeah. <laughs> I, I heard everything you motherfuckers say. I heard everything. The truth. You the truth <laughs> is what I make it. <laughs> <laughs> sure, I'm sure. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You can suck my fucking dick. Anyways. <laughs> no freaking right. way, dude. 
There's no freaking way, dude. No freaking way, dude. <laughs> yeah, Bryce, just keep right, saying anyway. it. Oh, you just want me to... We can make that a sound for the soundboard. Yeah. Well, no freaking we, we way, man. Spend no freaking for... way, man. Because apparently that's what I sound like. No yes, freaking you... way, dude. No freaking way, dude. Like... Our right, boys. Dude, I'm Sorry. vengeance. Okay, listen. I'm fucking vengeance. Oh my. Okay. Okay. Hold on a second. Okay. Okay. Before we wrap it up, <laughs> quick story time. So one time Bryce was over at my yeah. place and. My uh-huh. Amazon Echo has like a little like feature how you can like make routines and it connected to my little smart light bulb and I have a routine for it where every time I say Alexa, who are you? She'll say, I'm vengeance and then like the light will turn red and it'll play fucking <laughs> do, 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 It's great. Do, do. And then fucking Bryce was like high as a kite going, Bro, I'm fucking vengeance, bro. I'm fucking vengeance. <laughs> Dude, because I'm fucking vengeance, dude. I'm fucking vengeance, bro. I'm fucking vengeance. Anyways. Anyways, that, so, yeah, that's, a great, um, that's a great note. You know, you and anyways. you should be vengeance as soon as the stream is as soon as the, the, the podcast ends. Oh, I do plan anyway. on it. Yeah, yeah. Alright. That is the plan. Alright. Alright, so to close this you out. Guys have I'm a just wonderful gonna, week. I have one more thing to say before we close this out. Okay, okay. I'm the Joker!